Welcome to Bandness, the show where I take a look at a piece of art and make an argument as to why some royal guardians might think it'd be a good idea to either outright ban or at least make some good choice cuts. And today, I have a film from a man who himself was censored. Now, I'm talking about the director, Jules Danison. However you actually say his last name. Now, <clears throat> this film came in the 50s. The the whole um, un-American activities things was full swing. Uh, McCarthyism, one of the worst things to come out of Wisconsin. Uh, no wonder we're so drunk. Anyways, so yes, this guy was blacklisted, you know, for you know, communist sympathy and all that. You know, I don't even know how true half the allegations were because a lot of the confessions were just kind of forced out. So yeah, he went to France. This is one of the films he made. Now what's bad about this? Well, the argument that I would be making would apply a bit more to then. Because this film is a heist movie and it painstakingly constructs a very realistic robbery at that time and you know it could have been easily emulated and some people did try <clears throat> to do it and you know for the most part that method worked but because of that the security systems that this film revolves around quickly had to be changed so they couldn't be emulated as easily and you have to get a bit more creative which this heist is already very creative but because of how different security systems are these days that argument doesn't necessarily apply today but then 1955, when you know the Hayes Code was still kind of strong, although this pretty, film pretty much does follow the rules of the Hayes Code, in which, you know, if somebody commits a crime, they cannot get away with it, lest you inspire somebody to replicate those crimes, because if they got away with it, so can I. This film follows that in which, in the end, it doesn't work out. They get their comeuppance. And crime does not pay. At least, not for very long. Just in the short term. Long term? No, not really. So yeah, yeah that's about it. I know... It doesn't really apply to today's climate, which is what this show is really supposed to be about. But it's still interesting to look at how things were then and how they could change throughout, you know, and how things could change because of film. So that's all I got for that one. What do I think of this film? This is a pretty good movie. Uh there's one part in, like, there's a long stretch it's, where there's no dialogue there. Everybody's trying to be as quiet as possible while they're doing the heist. And it is really intense. It's very well done. Definitely check it out just for that, like, it's like it seems like it's a half hour, but it's, it's tense. Great. This is, this is a nice little... This is probably one of the most film noir -y, film noirs you could actually see since it's made in France. You know, and film noir is a French term coined in America, but it's still French wording. So it kind of helps make things come full circle. So, yeah, that's, that's what I got for this one. If you have an idea for a film you'd like me to take a look at and make an argument, let me know in the comments below and check me out on BitChute as opposed to YouTube and hit me up on Minds. 
And uh, I also got a bunch of reviews from myself and others on the Stardust app. I will see you in the next one. Take care, everybody.